Hey guys, a lot of you have asked about turbulence. One of my racers I built in the past, before I did YouTube or anything else. And so I did have some footage from my phone and from a friend who was videoing a few things about the build. So we thought we'd go ahead and do a little mini series about this little hot rod, how we got there, the planes that led up to it, and then what I had to do to this airframe to adapt it to a 1,090 thermal horsepower monster from Pratt & Whitney and go after several world records as the fastest single engine turboprop flying today. It's physics, math, and engineering. Machine it, draft it, build it, test it, break it. Every time something new gets built, the entire world advances. Laying in bed at night, it's designing new parts, designing new suspension, designing new wings. If you're new to my channel, I'm Mike Patey. I am an aviation enthusiast. Mike Patey right there. We're here with Mike Patey. Mike Patey. Built, born, bred to build anything with my hands. I love airplanes and everyone that's attached to them. Why did I choose this airframe? It started out for work. I was traveling all over the country, growing a pharmaceutical company and a couple other businesses of mine. And I kept wanting a faster and faster airplane. Of course, anything I've built and raced from dragsters to hill climbs, I've always wanted something faster. So it was natural to want that in aviation. You know, there were several airframes I was trying to decide on. Glass Air is a really hot rod, fast airplane. Lance Air Legacy was another decision. And really it boiled down to what aircraft could I find that had a tried and true speed that had never had an in-flight breakup, even though it was being pushed way beyond its V&E speeds. And the Lancer Legacy is clean, it's fast, tried, test, proven, and a really strong airframe. And so after building my first one, and then a second, and a third, and multiple versions, not just changing one airplane, but multiple ground up Lancer Legacies, it was a natural evolution to say, you know what, let's gut this thing, make it stronger, make it faster, and make it my commuter for work. Hey, gear's coming up. All right, let's bring it in. Okay, I'm watching this side. Okay, I got this side towards you. Slide both wheels, aim them for the black mark slope. I faced several challenges before I started turbulence, and it had to do with several things. Weight and balance became an issue, how I'm gonna balance that much engine. Just how to get that long of a nose and keep the stability in the aircraft became a huge challenge. Where to put the fuel for an engine that can burn as much as 60 gallons an hour cruise, and significantly more than that, if I'm rolling all the cold to it and trying to get to altitude in two or three minutes. There are a lot of challenges along the way, but that's what made building this aircraft so stinking fun. Turbulence is an evolution of several other Lancer Legacies, starting out with just a normal Lancer Legacy. And then I built a twin turbo Lancer Legacy. That was a 540. And then I built a new Legacy with an eight cylinder engine. And then I thought I want a little more nap. So I built a very custom supercharger for my eight cylinder and went after a few combustion engine world records, speed records, track records, close course records. And then I wanted something even faster than that. Several planes later, that's how we got to turbulence. Now, in some of my past legacy builds, I did minor modifications, just big motor changes. Turbulence is completely different. There is almost nothing left untouched on this airframe from uh, wing spars. Instead of it being one wing spar, it's a twin wing spar. The wings do not come apart, they're solid member. There's a lot of engineering from the tail, to the nose, to the front, to the gear. Everything on this aircraft is modified to handle this engine. So we're gonna dive into it, show you a little bit about it. I hope you like this video series. Follow along, you're gonna see in depth the skeleton and creation of this racer turbulence. <laughs> 